everyone, I forgot to film an intro, so hello, how are you? And happy Halloween. So for this skull makeup, we are starting with um, our foundation base. So you could either do white, I wanted to do just my normal foundation as I wanted the skull to be a little bit different to usual. So I done my foundation and set that with a powder. As you can see, I've got one, one contact in just because I thought it might look a little bit more freaky. I don't know, whatever. And I've got purple hair at the ends because i done a Halloween look before this. And you will see why soon. So yeah, um, I didn't want it to be um, white just because um, I wanted it to be a little bit different. But that's totally up to you. So I'm going to firstly map out um, where I want the teeth. So the only kind of white bit of this whole skull makeup is going to be the teeth. So I'm just putting on a really rough kind of layer of white all the way kind of around my lips and up on the side, kind of sides of my mouth um, in the kind of direction where the teeth will be as I obviously want them to be white so it's a nice contrast between the white and black. So yeah, just kind of map out where you want it. You can kind of see what I'm doing um, and you can kind of, you know, work it out yourself and you can make the mouth as big or as small as you want. Um, and then slowly you want to start um, by just mapping out where you want the teeth. Um, just do a very rough guide first. I like to do the teeth first of all. And then kind of do the middle of the mouth by doing a line from the natural part of um, where my lips meet. And I just do a line upwards towards my ears, if that makes sense. You can kind of see the direction that I'm going, just so this will give you a guide of where your teeth will start. Um, you don't have to be very neat with it, you know, just do a slight guideline. You might do a skull differently to... Uh, me or whatever this is just the easiest way I have found to do it as I find it quite hard doing the teeth first um, with black that's why I map it out with white first of all and then now you can see I'm doing kind of lines all the way down um, of where I want the teeth to be um, and it's kind of you know your own personal preference with how thick you want them and I'm just counting um, the teeth so it's even on both sides so now that you've just done very light sketches you want to start by shaping the teeth by shaping I mean kind of like curving them inwards um, you can kind of reference back to skull pictures and you will see what I mean by curving them right at the top because your teeth um, are actually quite long. You know, in those gums of yours, they are quite long. Um, so yeah, I'm just doing that shape. It's almost like a very elongated triangle. So just do a very rough outline. It doesn't have to be neat. And don't worry, don't get frustrated. Just keep on going with it. You know, I get this far and I think it looks totally shit. But you've just got to keep going, do a very rough outline, and it's not going to look amazing until you get the black on. It's going to look very weird and like you've got some sort of diamond pattern going on. But um, just kind of follow what I'm doing, do your lines each side, and map out where you want your teeth. So now I'm just kind of sketching out where I might want the kind of hollow of my cheekbone. Um, as you can see, I'm kind of referencing back where... Um, I want mine and looking back at some pictures of some skulls and I'm not going exactly the same shape of your typical skull makeup I kind of just done it like freehand and just you know had a little bit of fun and played along with it you don't have to copy exactly what I do you can just do the teeth um, but I wanted it mainly kind of black all the way around my mouth and then kind of skin tone colour the rest um, the rest of colour on the rest of my face if that makes sense sorry I cannot talk right now I've been at work all day so yeah I'm just doing the exact same thing on the other side as you can see I keep looking back to ensure they are both even so you just want to start by filling in that area so right the way down um, to that curve and you can use quite a small detailed brush um, so you don't go over the teeth marks um, but I just kind of kept going back to it um, and just, you know, roughly outline, outlining it. Um, just because I didn't really know what I, what I was doing. I was just kind of playing around with it. But obviously you can take inspiration from me and, you know, do it how you would like. So 
So I'm just kind of roughly mapping out um, the nose shape. So I'm bringing it all the way down to meet the black just above my teeth so it's nice and seamless. Um, and I am using quite a synth like a synthetic brush to do this as it does paint on creams that a little bit easier And I'm just using a Cryolin um, face paint. You can use whatever black you would like I also mixed in a little bit of um, MAC black track. That's a gel liner So you could just use a gel eyeliner for this. You don't have to use face paint Gel eyeliner is obviously really long wearing so that's gonna work really well I just felt like black track just wasn't black enough for me so I did mix in a little bit of the black face paint as well. I'll link some um, products down below for you so it's easy to get hold of but you will find most face paint at your local Halloween or your um, like local costume store. Costume? I sound American. Um, fancy dress store. <laughs> You know what I mean. Um, as you can see, when I'm doing this, it's coming out a little bit grey and not as black as I want. But don't worry about that. Just get all of the lines filled in first. So fill in um, black right between the teeth. Don't worry if it's grey. You can go over that. You just want to fill it in um, so there's no gaps. And you just go right the way around those teeth that you created earlier. So it's quite hard to explain... Um, but you kind of understand what I'm doing. I'm really sorry I keep going in front of the mirror. It's really frustrating me. Hannah, why are you such a dick? Why do you do this? Um, as I said before, I'm just kind of doing this freehand and I just kind of had fun with it. So what I'm doing is just, um, you know, making the cheekbone area a little bit more defined. So I kind of just followed that shape. Um, and you know, you don't have to do this like I said. And then the jaw area, I didn't want it to be like a really harsh line, so I just kind of blended it out with my finger. So um, you kind of want to make the teeth as realistic as possible. Obviously, they're not going to look very real, but you want to kind of add some shading. So I just used a little bit of black eyeshadow, and I went over the top of the teeth and kind of brought it downwards like you would shade any sort of picture you're just basically adding shadow you know and rounding off the bottom of the teeth so they look a little bit more realistic and a little bit more teeth like so reference back again to some skull pictures just to help you out and I wanted to highlight some areas with a white eyeliner just to add some light um, and just to make it look a little bit more 3D as well. Um, I done paint at college so I kind of like making it look a little bit more like a painting if that makes sense. Because my style isn't very neat, I'm kind of just quite like abstract and messy. So I just kind of played around with it and you know made it my own um, which I'm sure you can do as well. So now I'm mapping out the shape of my eye and I originally wanted to do kind of like an angry shape um, but I think in the end I did end up kind of like rubbing it away <laughs> but um, like a normal skull I'm just um, filling in around the eye area. I'm literally just doing a circle all the way around my eye. Um, this is pretty self-explanatory. I'm pretty sure all of you can do this so there's not much point me even talking okay you just want to make sure that literally every single bit of the eye area is filled in black even inside the waterline you want it to be really seamless and no skin showing so it just kind of um, looks all one if that makes sense so I am going to be wearing a wig so I wasn't too fussed about going right up to my hairline until I realized when I put the wig on you could actually see it so I did go in afterwards but what I'm doing is I'm kind of just um, following the outside of my face if that makes sense I'm just curving it around to meet the cheekbone area then using some black eyeshadow to blend it out and um, this part is optional because you couldn't really see it when I had my wig on but I just want to wanted to add some shading and some definition to my forehead as as you will you know look at some skull pictures you will kind of see it's very hollow in that area so I wanted to kind of create that illusion um but the wig that I got as you can see it has a fringe so it kind of covered that anyway so it doesn't really matter um I just wanted to add you know a little bit of fun to the look you don't have to wear this wig but I thought it just made it that little bit more interesting um you will see in a second I do cover up um my hairline as you could see 
yet. Um, so just bear that in mind to blend it into your hairline so it's nice and seamless. And if you're wondering, my wig is from Claire's Accessories. I hope you like this look. It's really hard to explain when it's very freehand, but I hope you take some inspiration from it. And you have a really good Halloween and stay safe. Goodbye. Mwah.